When I first started working at the company I am now in the IT department, there was a guy that was diagnosed with cancer that was a professed atheist. I'd heard about it and knew he was going in for surgery, heard the results of the surgery that they basically told him he had six months to live and that uh, really gave him no hope, just told him to go home and get his life in order. Everyone knows when God gives you those I call the slow ones right across the middle of the plate and either decide to sit and watch it go by or you take advantage of those opportunities. And God had given me many of those that I'd turned down. So I heard that story on a Friday and I was real busy at work. I really remember that, that God had placed it on my heart to go share with him uh, really the, the, the truth about where uh, salvation comes from. And uh, I really wasn't very prepared. I was afraid, so I put it off. I said, you know, I'll just go see him Monday. You know, peer pressure you could call, it's called fear, but uh, that went past high school and uh, I just considered Christianity something that was personal that I kept to myself and was really uh, afraid to share that with someone else. You know, you hear a lot about people being called holy rollers and uh, I probably just dwelt on that too much and was just afraid of what people would think of me if they really knew I was a Christian. And when I got to work Monday, I had uh, found out that uh, he had checked himself out of the hospital and committed suicide. So I really missed that opportunity. I just, you know, really sat there through the whole funeral remembering uh, that opportunity that I had and the fact that he may be in hell today because I didn't take that opportunity to share my faith with him. God used that though in a great way because uh, he really motivated me to go learn how to share my faith. So I signed up for a class at my local church to be prepared. I didn't ever want to miss that opportunity again. But I still remember the, uh, the fear that I felt and what my brothers were going to think of me when I started sharing my faith with them. And uh, I don't... I don't think uh, any of us really knew. I don't think any of us really knew what God had in store. And, uh, what he was going to use. So I think that's probably why the fear was as great as it was, because uh, God had something so great planned that Satan didn't want to have happen. Boy, I, I tell you, one small step of faith, such a small thing I did that uh, God is just using glorified is uh, both my brother Paul and my brother Daryl were saved. Uh, of course, my brother Daryl now is gone, uh, being called in evangelism and has committed his life to that. My brother Paul is a, a leader in his church. It felt so bad not to do what God wanted me to do. And since then, when I've done what God told me to do, it's been such a blessing that the two are just so strongly opposing. I don't think I'll ever not feel fear, and I think it's because the enemy uh, will always be engaged in trying to prevent us from wanting to share our faith. So I don't think that'll ever happen. I think I'll always be a, a little bit afraid, but I know now that the blessings that come and the glory that comes to God because of it are so much greater that uh, you know, perfect love drives out fear and I think I've experienced that firsthand.